Hello, Carl Fowler here from Quinn UK. We're going to show you today is L10N, Tense Grip L10N. This is the uh, only true non flam spray adhesive uh, on the market. It uh, was designed because there was a need for insurance purposes for some companies where they have a need to have a spray contact adhesive but with the non flam characteristics. So it is a non flam gas and non flam adhesive development. The unique difference between this product is it, although it is a non-flam, it sprays like a flammable gas material. Very, very fine spray pattern, done also with the tip technology. So it uses a different tip, it uses a Lekla tip. Okay, so you can also find that in any information that you may find in around the L10N product. So L10N is used for bonding um, laminate to MDF. So this is just a standard uh, 0.9mm laminate, uh, 9.8, uh, onto MDF substrate. So first things first, we're just going to obviously just make sure that there's no dust or surface debris. Same on this as well. Normally use a brush or an airline, something like that. So the first things we're going to do is just spray the adhesive around the edge. Okay, the idea of that is, is just to do what we call a window frame. Okay, very controllable spray pattern on this. And very, very flat as well, actually for a web spray. So pretty much tacked off already pretty good so very high tack this product as well so we're ready to go here we go 75% overlap I'm doing about a, a four inch pattern here so nothing too big because it's a small article and then I'm gonna go the opposite way on the other on the other side moving the gun swiftly but a 75% overlap what that actually does is if you actually do the 75% overlap moving the gun faster is it makes you, uh, it delivers a, a flatter finish on the spray pattern. So rather than actually spraying down here and then just overlapping, you'll end up with very high ridges. So by actually overlapping the spray pattern by 75%, moving the gun slightly faster, you will get a better result across the surfaces. So, what we're doing is literally waiting one to two minutes, maybe not even as much as that. It's 20 degrees in here, it's dry. Okay, so we're pretty, we're pretty much ready to go. It's important to make sure that on these areas here, because we've obviously gone round in a window frame on both sides, you've effectively got two coats of adhesive here, two coats of adhesive here. Then you go completely over the surface. Don't just fill in the, mid the middle of the window. Go completely across the surface again. And that means that you potentially got up to three layers in the corners. It's very important to make sure that they are completely dry. They're not heavy coats, so they're light coats. So obviously it's just a build up. But through here, you've got a central point. It's important also to make sure that your alternative spray patterns are, uh, are done in alternate directions. Because if you spray like that, you're going to effectively get potential areas for adhesive to land on other areas where there is no adhesive. It's important to make sure you definitely cross bond. So here we go. Again, very, very high tack, um, this material. Push it down, get it done in like that. And we're looking for the roller underneath the tensor desk. Here we go. Starting from the center, as we do with all laminate applications in all directions. And then we can apply top line pressure. Many people actually use other types of rollers Maybe the um, double-handled rollers. They may even use the wider rollers. Uh, this particular roller is designed specifically to actually give the correct amount of pressure when bonding laminate. 75 millimeters wide. It's an 80 sure hardness rubber, and it will give you approximately 35 psi pressure to the bond line through the laminate. So again, paying particular attention to the edges with this material, as we do with all laminates. We're ready to roll. There we have L10N bonded. Significant strength on that edge. Thank you.